What's, What's up, Windsor? Windsor? Fiona McDonald and the beautiful Krista Klundert of Angie Goulet and Associates. And we're so excited to be coming to you for our first episode of 2024. Can you believe, number one, we made it through the holidays. Number Ooh. two, it's 2024. I can't. It doesn't even make sense when I say it. It I makes know. me feel very O-L-D. <laughs> it just keeps hitting me over I and over know. again. Yeah. How, what year we're born in versus what year we're at. I, I know. know. My it's... son the other day told me that I was born closer to World War II <gasps> than the present day. And I'm like, you're grounded. Don't ask me for anything. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's actually really smart of him, though. I know. Really he's very smart and it works yeah. against me. It does. It works against sure. me. I can't manipulate him. I can't. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So 2024. No. I'm super excited about this year. So am I. I think we're going to be seeing a ton of changes. Yep. A ton of changes coming up. So... Let's do delve right into the market stats. Okay. Because that's what is... you guys are here for. We're going to talk about what is happening. It's on everybody's mind. Everybody's kind of sitting, waiting, listening. Well, number one, January is always an interesting month, right. as it is, right? Number two, we're sitting in an interesting time with the market that's going on right now. So I think there's a lot of factors, right? <laughs> like, okay, so 2023, factors. we were the bearers of bad news over and over and over again. There was I some... feel like for the last six months, we were the bearers of bad news. Right. And so I feel like we're going to be the bearers of good news for 2024, which is exciting. I feel like for the majority of 2024, but I feel like in the beginning of it, not bad news, but kind of Hurry growing. up and wait for good news. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yes. So here we are. So let's talk stats because the December stats are out. So let's talk that. Now, average selling price. Not shocking to me. Like, it, no big drop, nothing like that. Average nope. selling price was 514. What Just, are your thoughts on that? You know, we were a little bit down from December. Yeah. Not by much, but a couple dollars down from December. Uh, I'm sorry, November, from because it was anyway. These are Here December are stats. <laughs> yeah. Where am I and what day is yes. it? <laughs> so, uh, but we are up 8% from 2023. So, of here's January. the thing. We. Have talked so many times about how 2022 mm -hmm. was and 2021, the or seasons anomalies. and the ebbs and flows didn't roll out the same as they normally do. Agreed. Like, December is usually a quieter month it is. with lower average selling prices. And that's yeah. what we saw here. And I don't think it has anything to do with anything except for the season. I, I think agree. people and got right into Christmas this year. Things are slower and quieter. Everybody just went into that seasonal mode. And so it's kind of a long, it rides yes. along with history I think for December. You hit it best. There are a lot mm. of factors. I also do think that we did see at the end of 2023, buyers really trying to take their power back. Yeah. They had no power for so many years during COVID. And all of a sudden it was kind of what I noticed was buyers said, no, I'm not going to give you X number of dollars. You're going to take my offer at X number of dollars. Right. And the negotiations really came back. It was like we were back to 2014 where we were actually negotiating. And I feel like that was a factor as well that may have brought that price point a little bit down. Also, are people being cautious and smart and maybe buying a little bit less? Right. When mortgage rates were at 1.99%, people were buying it's million like dollar it out. homes. It's free money. Exactly. Yeah. So there's so many factors to it. Yep. So good news is that we're hovering right around the 515. I think that's a great number for Windsor. It's a fantastic number for Windsor. It yeah. is. Yeah. Nothing so to complain about. The stat that is most mind-blowing to me was the number of new listings for December. We had 301 new listings for December. Which is so low. Low. Like we're down 22% from last year, which was low. Yes. <clears throat> Which I think brings us back to people were getting ready for Christmas and again, we can travel again and stuff, right? So yep. was that it too? Also, like that's 10 listings a day. Wow. That's really for all low. of Windsor, Essex County. That's not 10 houses for sale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that would probably, well, that's definitely a seller's market, right? With only 300 listings. And normally my phone's going a lot more over it. Like I have probably done a deal every Christmas Eve for the last four or five years. You know what I mean? And then like people are calling me Boxing Day, sometimes on Christmas, you know? Yeah. Yes. And I, I feel like there was a, a real reprieve Pause. over the hol yes. holidays, right? I watch so many Netflix movies. And I feel <laughs> like that's how it's supposed to be. And that's how it was for a long time. And I think like everybody 
everybody I talked to really rested over the holidays, really enjoyed and had yes. that reprieve. So I hope you enjoyed your holidays and got rested up and forgot what day it was and started sleeping in till 10, 11, 12, whatever right, day it yeah. was. Yeah. And saved your pennies and you're now going to be calling us to buy a house. Call <laughs> us. <laughs> so the last stat we should go over is number of houses sold. So in December, 226 houses sold. So if we look at inventory of 301 versus 226 sold, Wow, that was like almost everything sold out, right? So that too was down 11%. Again, let's not go over what December saw. Exactly that. People enjoyed Shameless Christmas. Shameless plug though, our team seemed to hold a good chunk of every time I look at a number of houses sold, our team has a portion of that for sure. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Well, yeah. interesting this week. Now, of course we are in January. We're not, uh, we don't have a time machine here. So 37 houses sold this past week. I think our team sold like a sixth of that. Yeah. So go Angie Gooley and Associates. Yeah, you know who to call. <laughs> All right. So last thing with market stuff, uh, next mortgage announcement. January 24th. 24th. The 24th. So we'll be updating you on that. Hopefully, I'm trying to think when will we be back? Two weeks from now. Anyways, we'll keep yep. you posted. Everybody's sitting and waiting. Rates are coming down though, regardless of the announcement. Banks are making adjustments. You can get lower rates. So it's an exciting time. And I do think, like I saw, oh, you posted it. I'm going to repost it. It's a fantastic uh, visual, visual of what the market's going to look like as rates come okay. down. Where they're at right now, you've got X amount of buyers that are approved chasing after one home, right? As the rates come down, more and more people can get approved, right? More and more people are going to get back into the buying pool. And, and so you're going to be contending and prices are going to start going up. So that's right. I think we're going to start seeing an influx of buyers for sure. I agree. The wise ones anyways. I agree. Yeah. So, you know, it really is a wash. Yes, right now, maybe the interest rates are a little bit higher than where they're going to go, but the prices of homes are a little bit less. Well, that's so just it. That's what we saw when prices came down, too, is like up and down. It, anyways, it all comes out in the wash unless yeah. you... So I'm not doing control. a whole lot this afternoon. So if you want to call me... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> go look at houses. No, I'm kidding. I'm I'm super busy. Uh, <laughs> teasing. I want to hear your prediction on the January 24th announcement. What do you What do you think is going to happen? Okay, so I thank you for putting me in this position because I could very well be wrong, and this is on video, and you're all going to see it. I think we're going to hold. So that's do I. my thought. I think we're going to see a whole lot of holding over the next probably quarter, maybe into say, the second quarter. I'm going to go on record and say I think the next three announcements that will be held. Yeah, I think so too. And that's that's really good news compared to what we went through in 2023, right? I agree. And then it's like, hurry up and wait because I think they'll start to come down later. This is what we've been told. Yeah. All signs point towards that, right? Yeah. And so... I yeah. also have a prediction that February is where we're going to start to see a huge increase in the number of listings. Yeah. I'm finding January, it's like people are still kind of holding off, in my experience. And preparing. Like, you just got through yes. the holidays. If you want to list your home, like, exactly. you're They're... taking your Christmas stuff down, you're purging, getting it ready, because you just got through the holidays. And now February, like, spring market starts earlier now, yes, right? February. Yeah. And so people are a little bit more ready, maybe trying to beat the rush or whatever, yes. right? Yeah. So game on. Let's do it. We're yes. excited. We're here for you for 2024. Uh, I think it's going to be a really great year. We're going to share some of the things that we're into, what we're doing, what we're up to, some of our, not resolutions, but intentions. Do you want to share what yours oh, is? Oh, now you're really putting me on the spot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say out loud because then it makes me accountable, right? Um, let's see. I've got several that I want to do. I think my biggest one that I just shared with you. I'll share it with everybody, with the world. 2024 is my year of no. So I have a problem with saying yes to everything, yeah, you do. everyone. And you know, I'm, I'm always trying to please everybody. This year it's no, and you don't get a reason why. You don't need to give a reason why, right? I know. And it's not just selfish. No. And I think I'm proud of you for that because I've seen this with Krista. She goes above and beyond, which is not going to change, but you're going to be more selective. Don't get me wrong. If you call and say, will you come list my house? That's not a no. That is the year <laughs> of yes for that question. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, so anyway, so it is my year of no. So that is one of several resolutions. How about you? 
Intentionality. Intentionality. Like I I can be super just like fly by the seat of my pants. And sometimes that works for me. You know, it makes me adaptable. I can pivot. It works well for the industry that we're in. Mm -hmm. But I want to be more intentional on my health, on my relationships, put certain systems in place, stuff like that. Um, Yeah. So Mm -hmm. intentional is the word for me for the year. Yeah. Discipline. I don't want to share that one, but discipline. I want to be more disciplined. I've yeah. got friends in my life that are super consistent in the things that they work on and everything. I want to be a consistent human being. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Systematic is a word that is on my resolution list. Then you're not climbing up and falling down and climbing up and falling down in whatever area. It's just daily practice, right? Yes. However, and now I feel like we're becoming life coaches. One of the things on my list this year as well is if I do fall off that ladder to enjoy the journey. Yeah. I like right? that. Like, just get back on the ladder tomorrow. Quit beating ourselves up. Be kinder to ourselves. Look at us. We I are know. so on it. I know. Tony Robbins, look out. <laughs> All right, so let's just go over quickly because we are What's Up Windsor. What is going on in Windsor news? I think the biggest thing that I want to point out is Point Peely is going to be hiring for the summer. So What a great job oh for any anyone that wants to spend time outside. Like, that's a great job. I think so, too. It's I would beautiful. volunteer to just walk that beach. And yeah pick up stuff. So garbage, whatever, gold coins, dead fish. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And then let's shout out to the new boutique that's opening up in Kingsville, Southern Charm. I'm so excited about this. We know um, the individuals that are opening it up. So yay for Southern Charms. I will be there for your grand opening. If we're invited, hopefully we're invited. (laughs) We're going to take you on this. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And the other one I want to mention opening up in Kingsville uh, soon this spring is a a new bike shop. Um, I believe it's called Kingsville Cycle. And if that's wrong, she'll correct it in two weeks. Yes. But a bike shop. That's specifically awesome. for rentals for the uh, winery tours and, of course, service and buying bikes. So very cool Such to Such a great that area coming. that I fell in love with throughout the pandemic just because we were staying kind of local and everything. Um, so to be able to rent a bike. Go, yeah. Yeah. So get your southern, southern charms and then go rent a bike. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Kingsville is popping, eh? It is. I yeah. We'll okay. To do a so Milo's there. Grill, great food. It was, um, it burnt down on Wine Dot, right? Right in Walkerville, but That's relocated right. just down the street at the old Nola's. So excited to be there. We should go, we should go for lunch and do Oh, we should. Do a podcast and have Ben something. come with us yeah. and take our picture. Yeah. It's great food. <laughs> so check out Milo's. Do you know, are the doors open? They are. Yes. Okay. I want to say just before the holidays. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's fantastic. I can't wait to check that out. And who doesn't like fried chicken? <laughs> Popeyes. There's a brand new Popeyes in town. Uh, the fried chicken and biscuits. So check it out at uh, Buckingham and Tecumseh Road. So. so before I was being intentional about my health, I love Popeye's tenders. I know. They're they so are good. good. They are good. They yeah. are so good. Anyways. Anyway, events. What is going on in January? Windsor Express. I love going to Express games. It's good basketball. It's and really I good basketball. This weekend is the like opening game. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So it's starting up this weekend. Super fun. I love that Windsor it has that. Uh, there is, I saw this on Windsorite, who everybody knows we love Windsorite. The Windsor Symphony Orchestra and the Dance Bar are doing a ballet. Like a collab. A collab, okay. a family-friendly collab. I love both of those. Yeah. And they're coming together. So check that out. It's a Capitol Theater, which I'm such a huge fan of the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. The, do you call him the maestro? Yes. Yeah. The he's maestro. Got, he's got such a great personality. He's got a good sense of humor. He's personal. He's engaging. And so I always really enjoy anything I go and watch you that yeah. has to do with the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. Well, Big now you fan. can compare him to the Bradley Cooper movie Maestro. Did oh, you watch it? No. Yeah, I didn't love it, but okay. you can but compare the maestros. Cooper. I know. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for Windsor now for this weekend. Be sure to check out our social media pages for our open houses. We've got quite a few actually this weekend for you to check out. We have quite a few and really with Lakeland, like I think we should bring somebody on to talk about that sometime soon, but we've got so much coming up with Lakeland that's Mm -hmm. like ready to dig. We've got beautiful lots. Bunch of different areas, new yep. models, like super exciting for 2024, the product that we're bringing 
um, from Lakeland. So yes. we'll have to touch on that more in depth next time. Yes, okay. exactly. Yeah. So other than that, everybody, that is basically it. Be sure to stay tuned for two weeks. We're going to have a special guest, our first guest of 2024. Ooh. Other than that, anything you want to add? No, have a wonderful two weeks and, uh, and stick with your sticking, intentions. Stick with your intentions and stick with us. And yeah. thank you for sticking with us. And call us or anyone on the team if you have any questions about real estate, because that's what we're about. Yes, <laughs> yes. And we will answer them. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.